everybody, this is Zach Two Turn here um, with another video, and today is going to be a Disney tag. But first, before we start on that, let's talk about this behind me. Um, my best friend and roommate of all four years um, actually got it for me. Let me sorry, I'm just turn off my sound here. Um, made it for me. Actually, you can say got it. He actually made it for me out of Burnett's bottle caps that we used to collect in college. Um, and he just super glued them together, and it's super cool. A super cool um, DIY, and it was usually so awesome. Um, I was so surprised when he gave it to me. There's a little message on the back. Um, so yeah, Brandon, this is a shout out to you. Okay, anyway, so today we're gonna be doing a Disney tag. Um, no one actually tagged me to do these questions, so I took it upon myself to tag myself because um, that's just the type of person I am. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have it in front of me here, so I keep looking down, I'm sorry. And question one, first time at Disney World. My first time at Disney World was when I was four years old in 1999, um, and then we went pretty much every year, every other year since then. Um, I've been a lot. I am currently a season pass holder. Um, so yeah, that was my first time, and I don't remember it at all except for some of the photos that we have, but other than that, it was super fun. Um, favorite park? Oh. Magic Kingdom is my favorite park for rides and shows and all that stuff, but... Hollywood Studios does have a special place in my heart because um, it was my home location for my college program that I did back in 2016. Um, I fell in love with the park. It's not, I mean, it's a different kind of favorite park for me than my actual just like favorite park to visit. But Magic Kingdom for sure. The crowds don't bother me anyway. I love the fireworks. I love the parades. I just love it all. Okay, my favorite land in Magic Kingdom. Oh. Frontierland because Splash Mountain is in that land and that is my favorite ride of all time. I don't know if anything will ever top it. I love log flumes. I love water. And I think it's so funny to watch people get splashed. Um, what is the first Disney movie you saw in theaters? I don't know. Um, well, I did see Pirates of the Caribbean. In the Caribbean of the Caribbean. What is it? Pirates in the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Whatever the title is in theaters. And that was pretty early, I think. So I think that might have been the first one I remember. Um, but I'm sure there was some of the other ones that came out when I was little that I just don't remember seeing at all. But, oh well, I'll go with that one. I'm not really sure though at all. What type of Disney item do you collect the most? Zoom Zooms by far. I have, well, medium sized Zoom Zooms. The small ones are fine. I just don't, I like to cuddle um, my Zoom Zooms. So the small ones will just get like lost in my bed and not really feel like a cuddle buddy for me. So I collect the medium or the large ones. Um, I currently have 18, I think, or 17 around there. Well, actually, I don't know how many I have. I'm trying to count, but they're not all over there. I have a lot. And I'm going to keep on going. Um, I didn't know that JCPenney sold some of them. And they were on sale one day. And I went and bought seven, five. And then I bought like three over the break. So I just keep buying and buying and buying for no reason. But I love them and they're so much fun. Okay. Um, which Disney voice character would you like to meet? Uh, I don't know. <gasps> the guy who plays Kronk. In Emperor's New Groove. I think his voice is so funny and I would just record him say it's time to get up in his voice and that would be my alarm clock every single morning. Most underrated Disney movie by far Meet the Robinsons. Um, I love that movie it makes me just feel so happy inside and just to keep moving forward and never look back and that's the motto I want to get that tattoo on my little shoulder thing right here I don't really know what oh my collarbone right here because you should keep moving forward and don't let the past bother you. Doesn't matter anyway. Favorite Disney hotel, the Polynesian. Um, I love the location. I love Ohana. Oh, I love Ohana. Um, I love the feel around there. I love the beach. I love the bungalows. I love it all. I think it's so beautiful. A close second. I've never stayed there, so I don't really know for sure, but would be the boardwalk just by walking around there. Um, once I stay there, it might change... The pop, I've never stayed at the Poly actually either now that I think about it. 
but just like from being there so much at, during my college program and eating at Ohana so much, the Poly takes the cake right now, but it might change later, obviously. Favorite ride, like I said before, Splash Mountain. That ride just, you know, I don't know. It brings so much joy and happiness into my soul. The song, the singing, the bear, the rabbit, everything. I love it all. Least favorite ride. Oh. Um. Hmm. Uh, Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. Um, mostly because I usually ride it and I fall asleep in it, so I never really remember what it is. Second, because one time I did get called out and I got embarrassed. Third, I just don't really find it as funny as some people do. But, it, I mean, I enjoy it. It's just my least favorite. Favorite attraction that is no longer in the parks. I loved the alien encounter before Stitch took over. That ride was so much fun and so scary, and it was just awesome. I completely enjoyed that ride. All right, next would be, where am I? Monorail or ferry? Monorail, for sure. Um, ferries are fun, but I just feel like it takes so long, and I like the monorail because you can go in the resorts and around the resorts and not just across the lake. Um, yeah. Saddest moment in a Disney film. Oh, there's so many. The ending of Coco. Since it's so new, I won't say what happens. It's not like a sad sad. Well, it is a sad sad, but like it also is like a happy sad at the same time. It's just like emotional, made me cry. You makes it really like appreciate your family for who they are. Um, and then also the sad sad part about what happens at the end too. I mean, I guess it's not, well, it is sad, sad, but not like sad, 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 sad. You know? Yeah. Okay. Favorite Disney villain? Mm, Tafiti. Right? Yeah, Tafiti. Um, because I love Moana. Um, and I love, I would say Tafiti's the villain in that, even though technically it's the same person as, um, oh, no, 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 no. Z Rewind. Teka is my favorite Disney villain because it's the same person as Tafiti technically. And I just love Moana so much. It's so beautiful. I love the part when she sings Who You Are in the Water and then Teka's like running towards her like, Wah. yeah. Favorite Disney princess and prince. Uh, uh, Anna. And I guess you would say Kristoff is a prince now. So I guess Anna and Kristoff. I assume so. Well, I guess, I don't know. I'm going to say yes, just so I don't have to keep thinking. But Anna and Kristoff for sure, because I love Frozen. I still listen to it all the time. I still watch it all the time. I never got bothered of it. Um, never got annoyed with it. Love the ride in Norway. I mean, I understand why people are mad what happened, but I still love what they did, because I think it's so cool. Um, And then... If you could live in any world from a Disney film, which would you choose? Wreck-It Ralph, because you could pop around to all the different games and just go to one game and hang out with your buddies and go to another game and hang out with your friends and then go sleep in yours. I mean, it would be scary if you died in your game, you don't, you know, come back alive. But, I mean, as long as I don't risk it for the biscuit, then it'll be fun. And last question. If you could say anything to Walt Disney now, what would it be? Um, I would add, well, first I would say thank you, obviously, for creating this wonderful, amazing place and brand and iconic characters that he created and for it to keep growing as it has. But then I would ask if he's happy with how it's going, which could be controversial. You never know. He might have saw it going a different way. But I just want to think his thoughts on how he would change it and stuff. Um, oh yeah, that's it. So that's it for this. Um, I am only like, let's see, like two and a half weeks out from my March trip. Um, I literally cannot stop thinking about it. Um, so I keep trying to think of different videos to make so, you know, I don't constantly talk about it to other people and I just talk about it to the YouTubers out there in the interwebs. Um, yeah, so I can't wait for that. I can't wait to start that. I'll do a few videos, well probably a lot of videos, but between now and then, um, and then I definitely will vlog afterward, will vlog it and then post my videos afterwards. And then I have a couple other vacations coming up. Um, one 
Well, both of them aren't really Disney related, but I'm still gonna vlog about them because I think they're super fun. Um, I think you guys will enjoy it. And then, yeah, I'll just keep doing different random things. You never know. Um, so go ahead, and if you want, you can comment below some of your answers to these questions or I, um, any other questions you might wanna ask me or just comment below. Say, hey, make a friend or two. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is Active Tart.